Okay, it's raining today. It started raining about 15 minutes ago. Um, and I wanted to seize the moment to make a video about living a nomadic life, living as a nomad, and how you deal with inclement weather, uh, rainy weather, etc. Um, and I want to say that not much changes, right? All right, so it's raining out. The world has not stopped spinning, okay? The apocalypse is not here. Armageddon is not among us. Uh, it's not upon us, I mean to say. Uh, it's just raining. Okay, so I am doing the same thing I would have been doing for the 15 years I had a, a condo. Okay, I'm doing my laundry at the laundromat in this complex. Okay, I just had my dinner, a salad at McDonald's. I just went to make, I bought a salad at a Stop and Shop. I went to McDonald's uh, and had a Diet Coke there and sat there and hooked up to some Wi Fi, did some work. Okay, so I'm doing my laundry. I ate my dinner and now I am just basically looking out of my window. You know looking at the rain i can sit down in my car i can lay down in my car i can check on my laundry i can you know go onto my laptop i can uh, look up things on the internet the same thing you do in your house when it rains you do your laundry you cook some food you sit down on a couch you lay down on your bed you check your phone you check your laptop i do the same exact thing somebody with a multi-million dollar house does okay but it's in your mind the society mindset that there, you know, you're going to melt away and you're going to explode if there's some type of bad weather out there and you're a nomad. I am in a completely sheltered environment, okay, whether it would be in my home or in an RV. I can, I can control the climate. I can go in any one of these stores, shop around, look around in a controlled, safe environment. I, or I can go anywhere I want. And even if I wanted to, I can go to a luxury hotel and spend the night. I have that flexibility. I could do whatever I want. It's that freedom. Okay. Uh, what do you do if a hurricane comes? What do you do if uh, you know a huge snowstorm comes? What do you do if you have a home? If it's that severe, you're going to get evacuated and you're going to end up staying in a shelter or a hotel anyway, right? So it's the mindset that it's not doable. That you really have to get past. But again, it's relative. It's relative to what you want to do. Okay. Because if you want to do something what may seem like a little obstacle or a stopping point won't stop you. You just get around it and you realize that life, no matter what you choose in life, it's a little bit inconvenient and things you got to work around, but it will not deter you because overall there's inspiration there. There's joy there. Okay. And rain doesn't change that. And it's the same thing. If you want a house, if you want a house and your water heater breaks, you'll deal with the pain and the cost to get it fixed. If your plumbing goes, you'll deal with the cost to hire a plumber and get it fixed. If you have to get your dryer inspected, if you live in a community that needs that, then you'll deal with the pain of getting your dryer inspecting, uh, inspected, scheduling it, waiting in your house for six hours for the guy to come because he'll say he'll come between 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. or whatever he's going to say, and maybe he'll show up in that window and maybe he won't. So everything is relative. Everything is relative to what you want and what you are willing to deal with. But just because it is raining, the world has not stopped spinning. Armageddon is not here. It's just raining, and this will pass, and I am doing the same exact thing as if I had my house. Doing my errands, having my dinner, uh, checking some things on the internet through my laptop, and enjoying the day. Okay, so break that myth that somehow... It's earth shattering that if you're a nomad, if you're living a uh, mobile life, that rain somehow makes it impossible. It's a myth and chances are you're sitting in your home doing less, less than what I'm doing. And maybe not. I don't want to say that as a disrespectful statement because I, I hope that even if you're in a home and that, that's something you desire to do, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to be inspired. But I'm just sharing my journey and I'm sharing that you can be inspired living as a nomad and you can have every convenience you can have controlled environments temperature wise you can have internet access you can eat your dinner you can do your laundry and you can do everything you would do normally uh no matter what conditions it is outside so whatever you decide for you because it's your life whatever you decide for you don't let anyone else dictate that and stay inspired